time in Korea and today I'm gonna take you guys on my last day in Korea. It's not my last day, I'll be back, but you know. <laughs> I'm going back to America tomorrow for six weeks. So yeah, today what I need to do is I need to go pick up my negative COVID test. I need to get the paperwork for that. I already finished packing. I packed yesterday. My suitcase is somewhere over there. I probably will upload the packing video <laughs> before I upload this video. So yeah, I need to do that. And then I need to go to the vet because Jisung had ear mites when he got him. So we've been trying to get rid of that. So I need to go get some more medicine for him, but I'm not taking him to the vet because he is a struggle to get to the vet. So I'm just gonna go to the vet and pick up some ear medicine and then come back. I also wanna go get lunch. I'm gonna try Starbucks because I have a gift card for Starbucks, but Starbucks kind of like sucks sometimes they have good sandwiches and sometimes they don't so I don't have time to be playing games and then if Starbucks doesn't have something good I'll go try like two some or another cafe I also am going to Seoul today because it is very very difficult for me to get to Incheon Airport I think I explained this in one of my other videos but basically the bus that usually runs from my city to the airport is not running anymore because of COVID and so because of that, I need to go to Seoul today and stay in an Airbnb and then, or I don't think I'm staying in Airbnb, a guest house. And then from there in the morning, I'll probably wake up at like five and then I need to go catch the airport railroad and go to the airport in the morning. Usually I would just wake up at like four and like hop on the bus from here, but I can't do that, so it kind of sucks. I'd much rather just have a straight way there, but it'll be okay. I could have went straight to Incheon, but instead I'm gonna go meet up with one of my friends who lives in Seoul. I thought that'd be better than, you know, just being in Incheon. But yeah, that should be my day today. You guys can follow me around with what I'm doing. I don't know how much I'll record. I'm kind of stressed right now. I recently, you know, it's that time of the month that I just started yesterday and... <sighs> All the women out there, you know what I'm talking about. But nobody wants to travel. I have to travel for like 20, no, not even. If I'm including my bus rides and everything, I have to travel for like 48 plus hours. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna get out of here. I'll probably go to get some food first. I don't know. I was also planning on cleaning because I feel kind of bad. I don't want to leave the apartment messy for Grace. But we'll see how much time I have. We'll see. I, I've got to, I've got to go. All right, so thankfully I was able to get my, oh, almost blew away in the wind. I should be safer. I was able to get my COVID test. I'll show you guys. It has more information, but I realized I shouldn't, you know, show my passport number and things. I decided to go get my test first instead of eating first in case, you know, what if something goes wrong? Like what if I have to get tested again? So I just, I wanted to be sure. So I got that, thankfully, so we're all good to go. I need to go to the vet now, and then I'm gonna eat. missing cherry blossom season I'm like I'm not missing it too bad like I got to see like maybe like three days of it but oh, I just love cherry blossoms look at them oh well I guess I'll see them next year but I don't know I always just get so excited I don't even know if I'm going the right way I also realized that um, I definitely am going to probably be late going to Seoul today how do I get there? Let me check these directions. Did I get off? Oh, I think I got off the stop too early. Oh, I hate myself. All right, well, I'll catch up with you guys later because I need to walk fast. I couldn't find my way around. I'm done. I'm late. I'm gonna try to eat quickly. I got an egg mozzarella sandwich from Starbucks and a double espresso thing. Hair looking a mess because I was running and sweating. Ugh. I can't leave my apartment for like 30 minutes. I am stressed and I can't even say bye to my cat. My first meal of the day. 
I almost swore. Oh, this is a bacon on it. I'm cooking, clean, give you some medicine, litter box. I'm gonna go and slightly finish packing. <laughs> so, I'll leave you guys there, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on. to cuddle with the baby. I know, I am gonna miss you, I'm sorry. He's on. Bye bye, little man. Never 1218, departing for Coded at 1711 is now approaching platform five. You guys, first off, I'm not holding my selfie stick because it's in my backpack. But I sweated. I didn't record my process getting here because. I almost died, literally. But look at this. Look at this. I sweated through my jean jacket. Who sweats through a jean jacket? But my bag, my suitcase, is exactly 50 pounds. And carrying that up and down, the subway stairs was ridiculous. And thankfully this nice man came and helped me for one point, but my arms are killing me and I am so sweaty. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the um, guest house when I get back because I need to go meet my friend. <laughs> um, we're gonna go eat some pasta. So I'm already running late, but I'll show you guys the guest house when I get back. We're gonna go eat some pasta and then I'm gonna chill into my flight, but I am so tired. I did not know it would be that hard to lug around a 50 pound bag. And the reason why my bag is 50 pounds is because it's not because I packed a lot of things. I put everything in the smaller suitcase and then I put the smaller suitcase inside the big suitcase so that I could like bring stuff back to Korea when I come back, but oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> you guys much of like eating dinner or whatever i was just like i want to eat i want to chill um but now we're back at my airbnb so i'll explain more when i get inside kind of whispering because after nine o'clock you need to be quiet and the rooms are really close together so you know I'm sure people can hear me if I talk too loudly but basically always remember you get what you pay for I did not want to spend more than $15 on a place to stay but I wanted it to have at least its own bathroom and granted I didn't realize I'd have a bunk bed <laughs> But that's fine, I paid $15 and it has a private bathroom. I hate sharing bathrooms with people because people just have their long hair. It looks like the ring in the drain and I'm like, I'm not dealing with that. So anyway, it has its own bathroom. I'll give you guys a short little tour. Okay, it's very tiny. Also, I'm walking in here with my shoes on because um, I don't care. I literally don't care. I'm sorry, I don't know if that's rude. I usually take my shoes off in Korea, but I'm just really exhausted right now, so don't judge me. Anyway, that's a little 
short guest house tour again i'm not gonna complain for 15 dollars like it's not the cleanest it's not the dirtiest i've stayed in worse places than this and paid more so i'm not that upset um plus i'm only gonna be here for like five hours maybe because i have to wake up at like 5 a.m but anyway as you guys saw in the video i didn't record much of eating i don't even really remember what i recorded today i said i was gonna go to a pasta place but once we got there we realized it wasn't a pasta place it was like a po like um an anju and drinking place which is fine the anju was actually good i actually really liked it we got like beef brisket topoki and like chicken cajun salad which I didn't think it would be all that great but I actually enjoyed it but yeah and then afterwards I went over to my friend's house and then we just had a couple beers with her husband and chilled and talked and then I took the subways home and I would have recorded it but I was beyond stress because I was like I left their house at like 11 and subway stopped running around 12 ish in like Seoul but like depending on like the subway line and like some subway trains the last one is that like it leaves the first stop at a certain time and so I was panicking so I'm like running through the subway and I caught the last train for three different subways I had to transfer three times and I caught the last train for each one and I was running I was booking it my plan originally was to wake up a little bit early and do like a short workout but no 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 I worked out enough okay my hair done sweated back from today as I showed you guys earlier I sweated through my jacket I was dying today but anyway I'm gonna try to go to sleep I might not try that hard because I like being tired when I fly even though it's even more stressful that way then at least I can kind of sleep the entire time on the plane which is just wonderful I am gonna do my best to record my trip going to America and everything like that but I am gonna be extremely, extremely tired, so if my recording's not that great, don't come for me, okay? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really don't know how inclusive it was of anything, but yeah, I always enjoy making videos for you guys, so I can't wait to finally get on track and start uploading everything. If you like this video, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to give this video a like, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Bye!